Okay, I'm going to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. So this thing just kind of popped up on my uh, feed, which is a self-proclaimed mystic. And we've heard that shit before. And this person wants to do a binding spell versus a spell to bind Donald Trump and all those who have bet him. I mean, geez, it's not like we don't really understand what that's all about. I mean, and, and the big thing this guy likes to talk about in the comments, and we would talk about a million plus people that are freaking lunatics. There you go. Oh, we're so righteous. We're all getting together to stop Donald Trump, who is the axis of evil. I mean, forget the fact that Obama basically bombed the shit out of people and got a freaking Nobel Peace Prize for it. Forget the fact that he deported immigrants. Forget the fact that Tibet got basically wiped out, well, I don't want to say wiped out, but taken on in force by China. All the stuff that goes on in China. Forget Fukushima. Forget ISIS. No, we have to worry about Donald Trump because he won the election and we don't like him. Is there really anything that says, that screams selfishness any more than that bullshit? There are a billion and one other concerns, other problems, other things to focus your energy on, especially if you want to talk magic. And you're concerned about fucking Donald Trump? A guy that may be there four years if he fucks something up? No, the way you're going, he's going to be there eight years and more. You think this spell's going to do shit? I'm sorry, I don't know who taught you to work anything. But there's just so much wrong with this, it isn't even funny. For one, the universe does not like being tampered with in certain ways. They also don't deal very well with screaming grown-up fucking children. They don't care about... The universe does not care about you that much. It's time to get off your narcissistic high horse, realize you lost, and realize that this kind of shit only ensues that anything you call on is going to turn against you. You think the elements care for one particular party or another? You think they're not going to recognize that the people you wanted in were doing their own works? Their own works that were rooted in darkness and evil? Hello, spirit cooking! Do you think the universe, if the universe cares so much about good as you claim, or as, as you kind of are alluding to, do you think they're going to stand for you just because you wanted the other person to win really badly? That is like a serious disconnect from reality on your part, and you claim to be some sort of worker that knows your shit, but you really don't. All this research you supposedly did, and right off the bat, selfishness. Selfishness will negate all of your works. And no matter how much you try to pass yourself off as this person that's doing it for the right reasons, the soul always knows. And the soul of the universe always knows. You can make excuses to your psych offense. You can make excuses to the masses. You can scream all you want to the universe. But it either is or it isn't. And what isn't is you actually give a damn about anyone. But we're going to go through this a little bit. Is open source modified to fit to this preferred spiritual practice or magical system? Midnight, etc., etc., and the mass energy of participants. Great, you're gathering a bunch of mass energy, but you don't honestly know how it works. You don't understand the mechanics of the work you're trying to perform. You're just a screaming infant throwing a temper tantrum and thinking it's not going to backfire. By the way, fun fact, yes, it will backfire because there are certain responsibilities you have to take, and right off the bat, you kind of already exempted yourself on the basis of some moral high ground. You're full of shit. You don't know what the hell you're doing, and you have no moral background. You just don't like the other guy. And I don't care how many people you have backing you or how much energy you have. There are plenty of Satanists that think they're like the sliced bread and butter and the best thing since a freaking ham sandwich. And you're still not. Okay, so components. Unflattering photo of Trump. That doesn't really mean anything one way or the other. Photos can be used, but it's kind of irrelevant. Tower, uh, tower uh, tarot card from any deck. Now, with the reason why he's basically trying to do this is because of Trump towers. He's trying to create a link between one thing and the other. However, you have to take into account the meaning of said card. 
and you do not understand the, apparently the meaning of this card. And I, I'm not going to really explain it because I don't really want you to uh, improve on it any. But needless to say, again, you claim to have done your research. The only thing you really have is your supposed moral high ground. You don't know shit. Otherwise, of all the cards you'd be using, it wouldn't be the ter it wouldn't be the tower. You're just doing it to try and link one focus to another, and it doesn't work that way. Tiny stub of an orange candle. Mind you, this is supposed to be for binding. Cheap via Andes Amazon. That right there is not going to work. Pin or a small nail to inscribe candle. Truthfully, you wouldn't be using either. The only thing you're going to get is a pricked finger and a lot of frustration. That's stupid. White candle representing the element of fire. Who the hell taught you representations? A white candle is not going to represent fire. White candle usually represents protection and healing. It does not represent fire. If anything, it's a neutral element. Just like a base energy type thing. It does not represent fire. You're an idiot. Small bowl of water representing the elemental of water. Well, at least you can get the freaking basics down, but honestly, I really wouldn't even use that. Small bowl of salt representing the element of earth. Again, you're using something in terms of purity. That in itself is not going to represent Earth. There are much easier things that have more of a direct representation. Right off the bat, just from the components list, we have a lot of one of these here who think they're the big mystic thing and that don't know what the hell they are talking about. I'd be surprised, except you have to consider that they're doing this simply because they don't like a guy. I mean, talk about a waste of energy. You want to go for somebody? Go for freaking Isis. Go for the uh, corrupt uh, Congress that lost a trillion dollars that apparently nobody still gives a damn about, even though that's kind of a big deal. You know, things like that. Hey, how about helping out Fukushima because the radiation, the radiation is like causing mass birth defects. You know, how about the whole thing with clearing the waterways that got messed up by the EPA under Obama's administration that are toxic? the issue with fragging, any one of these things that aren't completely freaking politically motivated and entirely selfish. How about that? Just saying. I understand I'm getting back on that tangent, but again, I'm just saying, what the hell, guys? Please don't come to me with a moral high ground when this is the shit you pull. Um, let's see. Feather any representing the element of air. You know, you would, most people would think that um, a feather would actually represent air completely represent air and then you can use any feather. Uh, there are certain birds that are certain different representations and may have a different elemental connotation to it. For instance, you would not want to use a duck feather for something like that. You also wouldn't want to use a chicken feather either, though I'm pretty sure some people will. Um, but again, one more indicator, dude's full of shit. He has not done any legwork, he is not a mystic, he is not a practitioner. He does not know what the hell he is talking about. Matches or a lighter? Probably to light the candle and create this orgasm of fail. But whatever, you do you. You're going to anyway and nobody can tell you different. Another well-meaning narcissist, goddamn pigeons. Ashtray or a dish of sand? This doesn't even make sense. I mean, maybe if you're trying to burn something in it, keep the fire from going out of control. But other than that, it really doesn't make sense. Optional. This is, this is, this is, oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Really? Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll go into that. Why not? Piece of pyrite. Fool's gold. This is not going to really help or harm anything in this work. Unless your intent is to make the spirit world laugh at you and go, Hey guys, we have a complete tool over here. No, really, look what he's doing. He put pie right out there. I, I, I believe the illusion is to supposedly characterize 
the candidate they don't like as the fool's gold. I mean, you're really reaching the bottoms of the barrel of desperation when this is the measure you have to resort to. But it's not going to work. Sulfur. Because, oh god, sulfur is associated with the devil and trumps the devil because time life put an M over him and gave him devil horn, so it has to be true. Sorry, you're, you're, all you're gonna be do, all you're gonna wind up doing is smelling really funky, and I'm gonna laugh at you personally, but you're an idiot. Black thread for traditional binding variant. That thread ain't gonna do shit. And black is an anti-curse usually. It can be used for hexes, but it also can be used for anti-curse. Um, what you're trying to basically do is the equivalent of a curse. So by all means, do it and unravel everything. Because a thread in itself is not just raveling, but can be unraveling as well, and your intent really doesn't matter so much as... Not, not the intent that you're trying to project as in the intent of the soul. That's what really matters, and that's going to cause your shit to be unraveled before you even start. But by all means, go ahead, set yourself up for failure. Apparently it's all this bunch is really good for anyway. A baby carrot as a substitute for an orange candle. Can we just do something about these wannabes? Really? I mean, I see stuff like this and it makes my head hurt. It does. It, it makes my head hurt. <sighs> Deep breath. There is no purpose for a baby carrot in this shit. It's the color orange! If you're trying to link that to, like, the orange supposedly trolled all thing, you're a bigger idiot than you think Donald Trump is. I'm sorry, I have, I have to eat something at this point. I just, I go to eat. Why? Why? Okay, so preparation, write Donald Trump on the orange candle stump with a pin or a nail. Did I call that shit what? Um, that's not going to work out very well. Obviously, you've never worked with candles very well. Well, you probably could with a pin, but it's just going to come out sloppy and a big mess. You apparently do not have any respect for your craft and respect is coin and currency. It's bad enough you would show absolute disrespect by doing something this stupid in the first place, but this really just kind of... Although, it's going to be hilarious if you try and do that shit on a baby carrot. Come on! Arrange other items in a pleasing circle in front of you. Like, for instance, a portrait of Hillary because you can't stop worshipping her for five seconds. Lean the tarot card against something so it's standing up vertically. Again, we've already gotten to the tower. You clearly do not understand the symbolism behind it. And if you're trying to link that to Trump Towers, it's not going to work because it all comes down to the symbolism, which links into the ritual, and you don't know any of that. But supposedly, people, this guy is a guru. A guru. In other words, professional charlatan that likes hearing himself talk for a few more likes on Facebook. All these goddamn pigeons. Say a prayer of protection and invoke bless blessing from your preferred spirit or deity. Reading the, tr the 23rd Psalm aloud is common in hoodoo, conjure, root work traditions. There are other things that are usually required when it comes to uh, conjuring up something in hoodoo, etc. If you're going to be stupid, at least be not as stupid enough to understand the proper measures of showing respect. Otherwise, the only thing that's going to happen when you call on something is, it's going to be pissed off at your complete childishness, and you're going to wind up getting punished. And it's going to be your own damn fault. And nobody's going to come to save you because they're going to look at you and go, you're a grown child. When you grow up and get a reality check, then maybe we'll do something about this. In the meantime, you made your bed and you're going to sleep in it. So, the 23rd Psalm in itself ain't going to help you. Uh, prayer for protection, invoking blessings, ain't going to help you here. It does not negate personal responsibility. You still have to show proper respect. And this is completely lacking in all of this. Um, let's see. Oh, then he's going to light the white candle and, um, calling on the spirits of the elements who are already, are already going to get offended. Heavenly hosts, which are going to be offended. And then demons of the infernal realms and the spirits of the ancestors. 
Okay, so you're calling four different factions that generally do not get along with each other into one sphere, and you're thinking that's going to work out well. Do I really have to spell out why this is a bad idea? Do people not... E I understand critical thinking isn't a thing anymore, but you get four factions that are not going to get along well, and aside from World War III, I don't know what you intend to envision. What is this? Is this supposed to be like some sort of massive version of population control? To bind Donald Trump so that his malignant works may fail utterly. What works that are malignant? <laughs> you don't even understand what's going on and you get your fucking sources from BuzzFeed. You can't even tell me what those malignant works are. But you're going to bind them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not the only one laughing at you at this point. So you may not break our polity, which making up word salad does not translate to a ritual. It does not make sh You have to be very fucking clear on what you want to do and why if you're going to do that. But shall not break our polity basically says so he won't interfere with our party. Again, back to the selfishness. You're just stating that you're pissed off that you lost, and you're being a child. Or usurp your liberty. What liberty has he usurped? He hasn't usurped a damn thing. So right off the bat, you're making false accusations to the universe, and you think that's not gonna, that's not gonna, bode poorly on you. And fill our minds with hate, confusion, fear, or despair. You mean like you do, and those that work with you. Because that's where the hate, confusion, fear, and despair is coming from. It's coming from the entire other side of the coin. And I keep hearing it, it's like the damn election never stopped. Insane people. And those who enable his witnesses, whatever, bind them with chains of iron. Yeah, because they're going to come out and wrap you up. It's not going to happen. And they're not going to be doing anything when they're busy quarreling with each other because you brought four factions to bear that don't get along. And all of those four factions are going to go, he was disrespectful and trying to grab as much power as he could to basically enact his temper tantrum. And then all four factions are going to center their angst, not on each other, but on you. And that's saying as anything even happens at all. Which, nine times out of ten, probably ain't going to happen because this thing is just like one big fucking train wreck. Who, nobody can put shit together like this and call themselves any kind of a mage. God damn it. Crawl out of a fucking video game, get a reality check, learn something about the crap that you claim to be a part of, and quit being a fucking child. Strike down their towers of vanity. Um, bind their malicious tongues. Again, take your own damn advice. If you're gonna throw stones from, don't do it from a glass house. Because it's not like the spirit world ain't gonna go, uh-huh, yeah, we see where you're coming from, fuck you. And yes, they can do that. They are not entitled to your selfish whims. It's just not worth the energy you'd be giving them. There is not enough energy to give them to skew things in such a manner. Beseech things in the name of blah 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 blah. Here's the thing. You can only beseech in the name of all who walk, cross, swim, and fly, feet, trees, sparse, and such, when you can actually claim that you have their backing. You don't have their backing. You can speak for yourself. You can speak for a group that you are a part of. But what you cannot do is speak for everyone. At that point, that point right there, the whole thing falls flat. You do not have adequate associations, you do not have adequate authority to make the beseechment that you are claiming. You simply cannot. In the name of justice, liberty, love, equality, and peace, you can only claim that when you really are standing for such. Fervently and passionately. If there is even a drop of that that is false, even a tiny drop the size of a mustard seed, guess what? Everything just failed. So all this other stuff from here, bind them in this, bind them in that, that's just flowery subtext. Lighting the photo and... People don't realize why the half the shit doesn't work. It's all in the mechanics. 
So mood it be. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Blow out orange candle visualizing Trump blowing apart into dust or ash. So you just said in the name of liberty, love, equality, peace, and justice, but you're visualizing someone blowing apart into dust and ash, and you don't see why that's a problem. You're an idiot. Again, you, you throw out things that are counter to what you claim. You claim one thing, you do another, you try to push it into a ritual, and you're going to wonder why this stuff didn't work. When you lie from a soul level, it's going to fail. And you are going to bring severe retribution back onto yourself. Now, in some cases, I would just bind your sorry ass and be done with it or anyone that would attempt to work this shit. But really, all I have to do at this point is sit back with popcorn and watch you fail. And then watch you freak out and go, oh, well, the Christians were against us or this other group was against us. We honestly don't have to do anything to you. You're going to do it to yourself. Afterward, ground up by having a good hearty laugh, jumping up, down, clapping, and stunning. And remember, he hates people laughing at him. Apparently, so do you. But that's not going to do a damn thing. Bury the orange candle stub or discard it at crossroads or in running water. Again, this doesn't matter as well. Visualize Trump's energy dissipating and imagine a bright light emerging from the darkness and being revealed as the flaming torch of the Statue of Liberty. You don't represent liberty. That's the problem. You represent everything that's against liberty. That's why people voted against you. And after the election hit, and people were rioting and doing stupid shit just like this stupid ritual, all it's done, especially for people like me on the fence, is prove to us that you should never be allowed near any kind of power again. The more you do this, the more you cement in our minds, and especially my mind, that I will never vote for the Democrats ever again. I will never vote in y'all's corner ever again. Because you're a bunch of lunatics. You are not supporters of, you are fanatical cultists of, and should be treated accordingly. And that's not saying that all Demo uh, people that support the Democrats are bad, because they're not. But the, your lot? You freaking crazies that actually come up with this shit and believe and support doing this shit? I'm sorry, no. No, no, no. You are lunatics, and you should be treated and handled as such. A root worker ties the photo to an orange thread with a black candle and says, I bind you three times. Leave it outside a Trump hotel. That's not going to do a damn thing. You still fucked up from the beginning. The intent was wrong. You, and you lied in the reason as far as why you did it. Everything you put into that was a lie. So you expect truth to come out? Know your fucking place. Get off your damn high horse. I love this. Someone said the useless pet phrase against him. You're fired. Congratulations. You're going to be the one fired. And I'm going to kind of stop it there because they're going to try and do this for uh, different times. February 24th, March 26th, April 24th, May 23rd, June 22nd, etc. And this is by a guy by the name of Michael M. Hughes. This is on extranewsfeed.com, which should tell you enough. Um, writer, speaker, magical thinker at michaelmhughes.com. Maybe you ought to try the thinking part again. So I'm going to stop this there. Uh, this is just a brief synopsis of one more bit of freaking stupid. And uh, the link will be below, of course. And this, 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 this goes to show you why people don't care for these anti-Trump blowhards. I've had enough of this shit. This is, I mean, nobody, nobody is doing this reasonably. Instead, oh, we're going to do hexes. We're going to do this. Bunch of fucking children, man. But you think we're going to vote for you in the next term? Get real. We're going to fight you tooth and nail. And if we weren't going to be four, we're definitely now. Because there's no way I'm going to, there's no way I or anybody else with a rational mind is going to let a lunatic like you anywhere near power. You've proven you can't handle it. And if this is what you do as a sore loser, then you know what? We don't need you. Anyway, that's enough for now. Bye.